Hey guys, I'm just going to do a real quick review of the uh, SIG rangefinder here. Um, I don't want to waste your time, so let's jump right into it. So basically this is the new SIG rangefinder. It hasn't been out very long, but it's gotten great reviews so far and I can see why. This is actually a buddy of mine that I borrowed just to do the review for you guys. Um, I know he was super impressed with it and so far I've been really impressed with it. They claim that this rangefinder will do 3,400 yards on a reflective target. Now, most of the time those claims I have a hard time believing. This one so far is pretty, pretty close. Uh, my buddy was able to get 3,200 yards at his place. I personally have only got 2,500, uh, but you know, he's a trustworthy guy. I believe him when he says 3,200. And 2,500 is still impressive for a unit under $500. Uh, it says it'll do 1,500 yards on trees, 1,200 on deer. I don't doubt that at all. I was reading 1,300 yards also, you know, back-to-back -back continuous readings on a hillside. I'll throw that video in here. Um, optically, it's 7 by 25, um, so 7 power and then 25 millimeter objective. It's got the uh, organic LED display uh, that's super nice. It's pretty good optic quality as far as clarity, all that goes. Uh, good battery life. It does the arc mode, so if you're shooting uphill, downhill, it'll compensate for that and tell you what you should be holding at. So that's also a nice feature. Um, it's got an adjustable eyepiece, so if you're using glasses, leave it in. If you're not using glasses, run it out. Uh, you can adjust the clarity for your eyes, obviously. Let's see here, what else? That's about it for the you know the the product as far as pros uh, you know it is small compact that's also nice it'll fit in the breast pocket if that's what you want um, but yeah the only con that i would say to this thing that i would expect to see is if you're planning on ranging those far ranges i would expect to see what some way to mount this to a tripod uh, i wish it had you know a place where you could mount it right here to a tripod for to hold nice and steady because if you're going to be ranging out 1500 yards you're gonna need a rock solid mount to make sure you're hitting what you're wanting to hit. Um, that's the only con I got with this, guys. So all in all, under $500, I don't think you can beat it for the price. And honestly, even that aside, it's pretty doggone good. You know, most, most range finders that are gonna range anywhere near the ranges you're getting with this are gonna be, you know, 1200 plus dollars. Um, yeah, highly impressive. I encourage you guys to go check